Hey guys, what's happening out there? YouTube land, this is Mark Agnesi from Norman's Rare Guitars. We're here with our buddy, Robert Sarzo. Uh, the Voodoo Man. The Voodoo Man. And you brought us something cool. What'd you bring us here? Yeah, today? this what's is kind of interesting. Uh, this is part of my um, collection. And uh, I wanted to show you this, Mark. This is the guitar that I used on the um, Queensryche anniversary of uh, Mindcrime, the 25th anniversary. And this is the exact guitar that I did all those uh, great shows. And... Um, it's very unique, and it still has the original strings from the tour. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't changed them yet. They're still good. They're the uh, the clear tone strings that I uh, that I play. One. They're yeah, they're great. They're called uh, Clear Tone, the company. They don't rust. I mean, it's great. Very cool. So this got used on all the live dates. I see it's got yeah. some authentic wear on the back there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know how I am on stage. I get a little uh, into it. Uh, to say the least, and uh, this is where I stash my. Uh, ah, fantastic! <laughs> well, hey, while you're uh, most people don't get to see that, but uh, while yeah. you're here, why don't you uh, throw hey, us? I'll uh, it. Okay. Throw an autograph on it up here, oh, sure. you know, just yeah. with the tour name and your name. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, what year was that? 2013? Toured? Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Well, now that the Queen's right thing's over, what should the people uh, be yeah. looking out for, man? What you working on now? Yeah, I'm doing also the, uh, well, my Salute to Santana that I'm doing. Uh, basically, uh, I, I was putting this together uh, when I was out on tour. And it's just something that I've always wanted to do. And I put together a really cool six-piece band. I'm going to grow it. It's going to be even bigger. But I got a sax player, uh, two keyboard players, timbales, congas. And we're doing the, the greatest hits of the uh, Carlos Santana. Because I, I really enjoy the early stage of Carlos Santana, and I, I like that energy, that raw energy that they had uh, during Woodstock. And I was a young man, I saw that, and uh, it really, really uh, gave me a lot of uh, just energy when I saw the, uh, the clip from uh, Woodstock. And I was in Miami at the time, and I'm Cuban, so I'm a Cuban immigrant. And in Miami, when I started playing as a teenager, all the, um, the club owners at the time, uh, they, they were like, eh, you know, play other kind of styles of music, you know, but uh, he really opened up the, uh, he, he laid the path for all the uh, Latino rock players that really wanted to, to, you know, get into the rock field because before that it was, you know, uh, Desi Arnaz, you know, doing the Babalu. So uh, it was great. So anyway, this is my way of saying thank you, Carlos Santana. I appreciate what you've done and you're still killing it. And, um, uh, Love your music. Is it just live dates or is there a record as well? Uh, no recordings yet. There's but you a have lot a solo of, record, right? You said I, I've got a solo record. It's called uh, After the Storm, and that's still out on, um, on 4818 uh, Records. And uh, that one, number one on Amazon, uh, Rocking Espanol, right on. Uh, last year for uh, three weeks, and it's still selling. And uh, that's something that I wrote and produced back in 1990, and um, it was going to be released on Enigma Records. And what happened was Enigma went bankrupt, and I was left with the master, and then RCA was picking it up. What happened was RCA, the gentleman that was really into it, left the company during Christmas, and I never came back. And um, for personal reasons, I just had to put it away, take time off, but um, I put it out. Uh, Still number one that many years later, man. That's yeah, awesome. you know, it's something that I wrote, uh, produced, and played, and it was all my vision. I wanted to do Rocking Espanol after being in Mexico uh, doing seminars for uh, uh, companies like Crate and uh, Ibanez. So um, it just really, uh, you know, gave me the idea of why not do it in, um, in English and Spanish. Very cool. So it's called After the Storm, yeah. Well, That's check it out on Amazon Music. And Robert, thank you for stopping by as always, Good man. seeing you, man. I'm going gonna, gonna to check out your collection. Yeah, yeah. while you're an here, amazing story. You guys got to come down here. Um, you know, uh, Norm and I, we, we, we go way back. He's also from Miami Florida, guy Miami too, yeah. guy. So uh, coming here is really, uh, I mean, look around. This is, you got everything here. It's the best of the best. Well, we always appreciate you stopping right. by. Happy New Year.
Thank you, guys. Check us out, normansrareguitars.com.